Have you been thinking about volunteering this year, but you don't quite know what you might be getting yourself into when we return to the building? Well, this video is to give you a short summary of what we're going to be doing. So we're going to combine our kindergarten through fifth grade into one group and our middle and high school into another group and our five years old and younger will be with our child care providers. For our K through fifth grade and for our middle and high school, we're going to have one teacher and one assistant for both groups. We're also going to have a floater and this person is willing to go between groups or teach or assist, just depends on where they're needed. They also might be asked to do our Zoom lesson depending on if that teacher is unable to be there that week. And that is just from 11 to 11.30. And that is a um, online lesson that is also super easy to do. And um, you get to connect with the families that are staying home that week. So um, let me just tell you a little bit about the format that we're going to have for our kindergarten through fifth grade because it is so simple and totally stress-free. You can plan this lesson as soon as you get to church, if you show up a little bit early, you can plan this lesson completely on the fly, depending on your um, stress level and, and flexibility and willingness to do that. Okay, we'll start with a chalice lighting. We'll do a check-in, which is just, how are you? How are things going? Maybe it's a specific question, like what's a way that you were kind this week? And then you'll take a look at our Unitarian Universalist principles and one might be assigned to you that week. I might ask if you can do the first principle. Um, you'll know ahead of time and you can plan a lesson for that. Or um, you can pick and choose your principle if you would like. Um, we just wanna make sure that we get all of them covered. But say you have the first principle, which is um, that we believe in the inherent worth and dignity of every person. You find a book, maybe it's about bullying and how we think that because each person is important, um, we don't think that it's a good idea to bully and treat people unkindly. And so you tie in the book with that principle and then you uh, ask some kind of discussion question with the children. And granted kindergarten through fifth grade is a pretty wide age group. That's why the discussion doesn't need to be that long. Maybe you just ask one question like, have um, you ever been bullied? How did that make you feel? And that's all that you do for our lesson planning. That's the extent of it. We're going to drill in those UU principles so that our children are knowing our UU values. But the biggest thing that we're going to emphasize this year are connections and relationship. That's what is most important after a pandemic. So our lessons are just going to be for the first 15, 20 minutes. And then after that, we're going to do something so fun called makerspace. And this way children get to be hands-on and do activities and also try and stay socially distanced. So when we're indoors, we're going to have really fun materials that will come in these like shoebox type containers that they choose off of a cart or a shelf and they can take back to their seat. And these are going to have clay or pipe cleaners or our beads that you can pop together or Lincoln logs or Legos. Um, I have this fun little maze in a ball. Um, we also have outdoor activities. We have chalk and look at this cool bubble wand where you're going to make giant bubbles. We have the whole down part of Lynn's garden where we can take children and um, uh, up on the patio we might be having outdoor services. It's, it's hard to know for right now. So we're going to have all kinds of options and lots and lots of fun things that are going to be hands-on that are going to emphasize being together and connection. For our middle and high school students, Again, connection is the biggest key. So honestly, as far as lesson plans, let's talk about how we've been living our UU values. Let's talk about some of the social justice work that's important to them right now. But I'm not so concerned about a giant thick curriculum book where you have to hit every mark where you're gonna make photocopies and make sure each student has their particular supplies and that kind of a thing. It's really about relationships and the check-ins, right? How is your heart right now? We're going to have middle and high school in June, the first week and the last two weeks. And um, beyond that, we're gonna take a, a break for July, August. That's what we almost always do during the church year. We'll return in fall with our middle and high school. With our um, K through fifth graders, we're gonna try and meet every week starting in June besides when we have all ages services, which will be the second and third week in June. So please contact me if you have any questions. You do need to be vaccinated 
vaccinated to um, volunteer with our children and youth. We need to be dependable, reliable. Um, we uh, would really appreciate um, that you have some experience working with children. And if you don't have a lot of experience, that's fine, but let's have a conversation about that and you can check in with me, all right? So thank you so much for watching. Please contact me with questions and I look forward to hearing from you. We need everyone to sign up, not everyone. We need interested parties <laughs> um, to sign up soon so that we can actually have a program. Thank you, thank you. And I look forward to seeing you in person soon.